There has to be a reason to have a party other than free food and drinks, right? So, <laughs> welcome everybody. Uh, for those of you who don't know us, I'm Donna Harris. And I'm Evan Birdfield. And we're the co-founders of 1776, so welcome. Thank you for coming tonight. So, for those of us who are history buffs, you know that July 2nd actually is a very monumentous day in our country's history. It's the day the Declaration of Independence was signed and was, according to John Adams, a day that should forever be celebrated by future generations with, oh, I don't know, parties and games and the like. So that's what we fully intend to do tonight, and we're glad you could be a part of it. A lot has changed since those days. Obviously, we're a much more technologically connected society. We're a much more networked society, and the meaning of global is very different today than it was in the days of John Adams' time. <laughs> So tonight is especially monumentous for us because not only are we celebrating our heritage as 1776, we couldn't not have a party, we also are celebrating some major announcements today. So if you've been following us on Twitter and Facebook and the various other social media forums, you'll know that today we announced a slate of major global initiatives. So we have long believed that startups don't need to pick a single city to succeed. They don't have to plant themselves in one city and be limited to the resources of that one city. Startups are scrappy, and they're gonna dig wherever there's gold. And they should be digging in every ecosystem that can help their company scale. And with that belief, we've launched a slate of global initiatives to help startups from around the world do business in and call the DC ecosystem one of their homes. So one of our major initiatives is our Startup Federation Initiative, which is a global network of incubators in the world's biggest cities around the world. What we are offering and will be reciprocating is the ability for any startup who's a member of our global incubator partners around the world to work in DC while they're visiting and doing business here in our community. So if you're a startup from a place like Chicago or a place like Sao Paulo, you can do business here in DC and call 1776 your virtual home. You also, through our virtual membership program, which we launched today, actually be a member of 1776. Through our wonderful partnership with Comcast, which gives us screaming fast internet, thank you very much, we are now able to have startups from anywhere in the world participate virtually in the 1776 programming, which means that they'll be doing everything from participating with our mentors and advisors, joining our office hours, our lunch and learns, our drink and learns, and all of the interesting events that are happening here on campus. So an easy way for them to begin to engage in the Startup DC ecosystem and for any startup that is particularly tackling America's greatest challenges in education, healthcare, energy, city challenges, DC is a place that they can and should be doing business. And so our virtual membership program allows them to do that. On top of the platform that the Startup Federation provides for us, we're also looking to do a series of other programs. And today, as many of you know, we announced the Challenge Cup. The idea behind the Challenge Cup is to go out to 16 leading cities around the world, eight U.S. cities, eight non-U.S. cities, and in each city hold a competition to identify the most promising startups that actually have a product or service out in the marketplace that are doing these disruptive things to reinvent our lives as citizens, to tackle these grand challenges, and to bring the winning 64 companies back here to Washington, D.C. next spring for a week-long festival. Uh, we're actually going to set it up in a tournament structure. So every day for six straight days, we're going to have a round of 64, a round of 32, a round of 16, a round of eight, before we ultimately crown the winner of the Challenge Cup, which is uh, essentially the startup that has the most promise to tackle the biggest problem. The startups are going to get um, rewards and prizes from our corporate partners. They're going to get access to um, investment dollars, introductions to... Um, policymakers, media, world leaders, all of the things that Washington DC can do to help these companies grow. Um, it's also going to be a wonderful opportunity for the Washington region to really celebrate innovation and entrepreneurship with a whole slate of activities around that. We'll hear more about that later. But with that, um, as with many things that we do at 1776, 
it starts with the support from the city and, and in particular the support from Mayor Gray. And we wanted to introduce uh, Mayor Gray real quick to talk a little bit about what uh, the Challenge Cup can mean for DC as a city, what it means to DC's efforts to reach out um, around the world and form relationships, and to um, talk about the growth of DC Tech. So with that everybody, Mayor Vincent Gray. Thank you all. Good evening, everybody. I am always delighted to be at 1776. Uh, first of all, let me, uh, let me say that I'm glad to be here with our deputy mayor, Victor Hoskins, who does such a great job leading our economic development efforts in the District of Columbia. One of the most dynamic, intelligent people I have ever met. Victor, thank you for being in the District of Columbia. Our director of business development, David Zipper, who is here with us uh, tonight. Jennifer Boss, who heads our technology effort in the deputy mayor's uh, office. And we have our director of communications, who is here also, Pedro Ribeiro. So we've got a lot of DC government folks here uh, tonight. How about a big hand for them? <laughs> also, also I, I, I'm here, I think about once a month, is that right? Yeah, this is my July visit. I'll, I'll be here another time during July. This is early in July. I love coming to 1776. You know, you often want to know what the definition of a term is, and one of those I've always wanted to be able to have with some precision is what's the definition of a visionary? Well, there are two definitions of visionary in the District of Columbia. Donna Harris and Evan Burfield. They have done a great job. And Come on, give it up for them guys. Come on, give it up. You know, when you look at our five-year economic development plan, you will see that we have hitched our wagon to technology as a way of beginning to develop an independent economy here in the District of Columbia. Uh, you know, we've always had tourism, we've always had hospitality, we've always been tethered to the federal government, but recognizing the ups and the downs of our federal economy, we have wanted to be able to start to create our own. And frankly, it was one of the reasons why when Donna and Evan developed the uh, concept of 1776, we wanted to be a part of that. I guess it was about a, a year and a half ago, Pete, that we went to, came to a meetup and, and really got connected, just got enthused about it from there. And we've been working. We are, we are now investors. I think, I'm going to claim it anyway, I think we were the first investor in 1776. We invested $200,000 in 1776, and today, today, they have more than 100 startups right here in this space and are now ready to expand into other areas of this building, right? So thank you, Evan and Donna, for being such great leaders and being such great visionaries and being hosts for people who have great ideas. We also are proud to be a part of the Challenge Cup. The Challenge Cup, as Evan already and Don already explained to you, they will bring, I don't know, 16 startups from all around the world. 64, 64 startups. And there will be a competition that will take place next May in 2014. That will determine the best of the best. It will bring great ideas to this city. And we hope that will bring also, also bring more startups to the District of Columbia. We will hope to be able to connect some of our startups, some of our technology firms to the embassies. We have 180 embassies uh, here in the District of Columbia. Um, we will have all kinds of activities uh, associated with the festival. I think it'll be for an entire week. Uh, is that right? An entire week. And also, we are proud to be investors in the Challenge Cup. We will be investing $180,000 in the Challenge Cup in order to be able to help this event to be successful. And you know what? It makes good business sense because $180,000 will be as good of investment as the $200,000 we've invested in 1776. We want to be, be the city on the East Coast for technology. We want people to, to say in Silicon Valley, we want to be, we want to be the District of Columbia of the West. And if we achieve that, boy, we really will have accomplished something. So again, that's an ambitious goal. It's our own vision. And frankly, working with Donna and working with Evan and working with Pete and working with 1776, 
I'm convinced that we can achieve this. Thank you all for coming out. Work with us to make Challenge 2014, Challenge Cup 2014, a resounding success and make the District of Columbia the global city it should be when it comes to technology. Thank you all very much. In addition to the tremendous support that we uh, are receiving from the city, uh, we would not be able to do the Challenge Cup without two uh, tremendous partners. Um, the mayor spoke about visionaries. I think the real visionaries here are the people that have been uh, engaging in tremendous events, bringing this community together for years and years and years, long before 1776 was ever here. And we are deeply proud to be partnered with both iStrategy Labs and Tech Cocktail, Peter Corbett, Jen, uh, Jen Consalvo, Frank Gruber, DJ Saul, all these great leaders to make this happen. Um, I'd like to particularly bring up uh, Jen Consalvo and Frank Gruber from Tech Cocktail to talk a little bit about what the festival can really mean to the city. All right, I'm Frank, this is Jen. We're part of the Tech Cocktail team. We've been going around the country for the last seven years rallying startups and really particularly based out of DC doing that and trying to really showcase what's happening. Uh, We've been, we had the, the actual, we've been fortunate to find great companies uh, here in the district and beyond, and we, we've been able to cover them online. So we're super excited about the Challenge Cup, because now we can take that uh, and, and really give everyone kind of a, a nice carrot at the end of what we're doing. So being able to do these events in eight different cities and being able to showcase what they're doing and bring them back to, to D.C. is really what we're really excited about. So, Jen, do you want to add a little bit more about what we're doing? Sure. So many of you know us as the co-producers with iStrategy Labs of D.C. Week. So now, as we discussed, DC Week has kind of morphed into something a little bit different. The Challenge Festival, which will be in May of 2014, is going to be great. It's going to be even bigger because it's going to be international. We're going to be bringing 64 startups from around the world right here. We're going to be doing all kinds of events from parties and hackathons, keynotes, all kinds of community events. It's going to be a very exciting week for us. So we want all of you to be very involved and participate as much as you can. All right, so one more time, now that we got your attention, <laughs> Get your drinks for a second. Let's do one quick social, because that's fun, and we're all really about fun. So get the drinks up. Everyone who's got a drink. Raise those drinks. All right, there we go. Here's, Here's to the you. Challenge Cup. And then we're, we're going to hand it off to Peter Corbett, who's our co-producer. So cheers, everyone. Thanks a lot. Ooh, Peter, come all on right, up here. All right, all right. Are you intro? Oh. Yeah. So I want to jump in here real quickly, because I hate to just say, hey, here's Peter, because Peter is somebody who has been so instrumental in the DC ecosystem. He is somebody who, long before there was the thought that we should call it the ecosystem, he was doing ecosystem building activities. So how many of you have been to a DC Week activity, right? Almost all of us. So when there was an announcement that DC Week might not continue, there was a lot of mixed reaction. We'll put it that way. Turns out that we're replacing it with something bigger, bolder, and more incredibly awesome that goes beyond just DC. So in addition to partnering with Peter and iStrategy Labs, um, he is somebody that we have an immense amount of respect for, and we're pleased to have him as a partner here at 1776, but also with the Challenge Cup. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know you're really thirsty. You want to get back there. This is not going to be about me. This is not going to be about new initiatives. You should listen up because this is very much about you. I've had the fortune to travel all over the world for the past few years meeting startup communities everywhere. And I have to say, this is your time. You are the envy of the world. And I've been in places, whether it's Moscow or Kuala Lumpur or Bangkok or even Berlin, that wish that they had the vibrancy and the infrastructure and the possibilities that we have here. Now, it would be selfish if we kept that just for ourselves. And that's why we've created the Challenge Cup. We're gonna make sure that the most talented startups from around the world have the ability to connect with all of you and connect with the possibilities and opportunity that can only be brought to bear by what is the nation's capital the District of Columbia. And here, if we do our jobs right, if we focus and work hard, we're going to help solve the most difficult challenges of our time, and we'll look back and say, this was our time, I left it on the dance floor, I did everything I could, and then I got some cocktails. Thank you so much, guys, have a great time. Woo! See you soon. <laughs>